We're live season five. I'm Simone. I'm C the Surfer. Jada Black. And we are, are the collective. collective. Um, now, with everything that's been going on, we got music coming out. We got after hours coming out. We got reactions coming out, but we the haven't talked. Reaction I ever did. <laughs> we haven't talked about music in a long time, like in a really long time. We haven't. So we going we going you know, let's keep that going. And lately, we got a lot of shit going on with uh, the Tory Lanez making a style situation. But most importantly, uh, academics. Yeah. We all familiar with academics, right? Of course. Uh-huh. Um, and. Has been the narrative push that he acts with women a certain way than he deals with women, uh, men a certain way. It's How do y'all feel? Obvious. Y'all, so y'all agree with that? I I agree, but and y'all might think this, y'all might think I'm an asshole for saying this. He has he had he he pulls pressure behind women like he definitely he said he says what he needs to say and he be spitting facts. But when it comes to men coming for him, he doesn't say anything at all. He's totally mute, and I don't like that. Right. So, even if he's saying facts about women, it's still the fact that when a man comes for you, you ain't doing nothing. Because definitely when Joe Budden was trying to fight Migos, he didn't have his back. But, yeah, he got all smoked with Megan Stein and that other girl that was on the um, little band show that he was on. Mm. So, uh, okay, I can see... Where people say that for sure, I can definitely see that. But um, I do watch a little bit of act because I watch podcasts. Yeah. I do, I watch different podcasts, and he's one of the podcasts I watch occasionally, right? Mm-hmm. And he when he was beefing with Meek Mill, and he was going hard at Meek Mill, but Wait. no nobody he was yeah, going he was guy. disrespectful to Meek Mill. Like okay, first of all, Meek Mill, Meek Mill, Mill's all that. beef with Safari, and if you beef with Safari, you just but he was also beefing with Freddie Gibbs, and he Freddie was Gibbs a little nigga him though. He did. Yeah, Freddie Gibbs a little nigga him. But though. he was going at him every single chance he got. Um, do I think he went at Meg harder? No, I don't think he went at Meg harder. But I think I think it's a subject matter why people will say that. Honestly. Yeah, but it's because it was mainstream and people are more sensitive with Megan now. Yeah. No, I just think it's the fact that. He's someone you can't little nigga me, but at the same time, you the same. You the same person who would. I don't care what you saying. You say he went hard at McMills. Okay, let's be real. Drake went hard at McMills. Like he just McMills don't care because he know what he really about for real in real life. I don't know. This, I don't know the Freddie the Freddie Gibbs guy. But as a man, you can't come for a woman that hard when you was talking shit first. He was he talking shit though. He was because she was just saying, "Bro, this is not the right information. Stop running your fucking right, mouth. right." And he was wrong. Right, that's and what, what he saying. did was double down on him being wrong. Right, that's what I'm saying. So you can't come at a woman like that and then be like, try to be mad because she told you about yourself that's like when he got to that girl that pulled a gun out on him that was funny i'm sorry that but was, like was he funny. was really going hard with her like okay yeah she fired for a door and so yeah no nah, she did no nah, they was going back and forth i watched i watched you know me and i gotta defense, get the whole story in her offense he's a man she's a woman so she felt threatened. that don't mean nothing and stop she felt threatened she could do what she had to do no stop stop putting this oh he's a man she's a woman thing i mean okay no. for all that then like why didn't party say something to academics then he did yeah, he said something to Tory. He ain't saying nothing to academics. He did say both of them. What did he say to academics then? I don't know. I don't even know exactly where he said to Tory. To be honest with you, but I mean, he, he told Tory, like, don't text her, get off of Twitter, like, come see me. He told him to just come see me. But Tory also said that But he's been going to everybody that's this. come from Meg, so it doesn't even matter. He didn't shoot Joe Budden, though. <laughs> but my thing is, would he really do something? Because we all know the industry. Party? Or be, party. Would he really do something? Because... People in the industry be pumping again. Yeah. I'm not saying that's what he do, but at the same time, we've seen the interaction with Baby. With Baby, we've seen the interaction with Tory. And if nothing has been done yet, then at this point, you kind of look like a punching bag. I'm sorry. Which is valid. It is valid. But in the day, let's think about it. If he don't say nothing, how he gonna look if he's next boyfriend? Right. But okay. So in the Tory situation, that's before him. 
He can't. Mm-hmm. He can't say nothing. And, and still, his, he still spoke up several times. Though. And one act wasn't wrong. I'm sorry. Other than the situation in court, what he said after that, he technically wasn't wrong. Because I remember Megan Thee Stallion getting awards for sympathy. I'm sorry. No, I but love I'm Megan. saying he's talking about you can't look at little nigga me and okay, bro. I mean, but at the same time, let's see. I want to see him have real action with somebody that's actually going to really come at him. For for like Joe Budden, Joe Budden's really gonna come at you. Migos, they really gonna come at you. Like he's going back and forth with people that's not going to. They don't really go for. Like I said, Meek Mills know what he about, so he's not gonna really see him go back for my academics. Like, cause he know in real life he really could get this nigga. Like, I need him to go back with somebody that's gonna go back and forth with him. Like for like posting this nigga house type shit. I don't know, bro. Oh, oh well, that's the thing. Okay, so then who can he go? Who can he talk to? And who 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 he got mouth off to to really see something happen in academics? I'm not gonna lie, Joe Budden. He's friends, friends with he's friends with Joe. He's friends with Joe. That's not dick riding him. No, they had a whole show. He Brian, says all he, the time, "Oh, Joe is my nigga." <laughs> yeah, because I feel like he's dick riding him. How, bro? You just like academics. No, I just want to know how is he dick riding? You just him? like the academics. I just don't know how's he dick riding. Easy. Piss thing about it. Joe Budden had a podcast with after he left. Um, Everyday struggle. Uh-huh. He had a podcast with two other people, right? Mm-hmm. These two other people claim that they weren't getting enough money, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. With Everyday struggle. That didn't last long with academics after Joe Budden left. Right. Agreed. So, it, why didn't it last long then? If he could do the show by himself, why didn't it last long? Uh, I never say he could do the show by himself. I didn't say you said that, but I'm saying if he could do the show by himself, why didn't it last after Joe Biden left? But what's the all right, what's the point? My point is he's a dick riding Joe because for real, for real, we all know that Joe Biden don't give a fuck what he said out his mouth. And I'm pretty sure he said some crazy shit to act was before. Off camera. And I... I think it's been a couple of times he said some crazy shit to him on camera. Even with know, the whole Migo situation came on about. Like I said, I want to see him go back and forth with somebody that's going to actually come at him. Hmm. Okay. Mick Mills is not going to come at him because he already know what he's about. He don't give a fuck. I think Mick Mills will go back and forth he'll go just for his fucking fun. And who's academics? I want to see him go with somebody so, that's really going to come at him. Yeah, so you nigga. just need somebody petty, honestly. Though. Yeah. Shit, Drake. Fuck. <laughs> he loves Drake, though, so that's not going to happen, unfortunately. And he went at Drake before. Um, does it seem like ever since, y'all got to think, but ever since Meg made the Why Be Better um, statement on her Twitter, does it seem like the industry has kind of turned against her? Um, no, I can't say it's turned against no, her. No, I don't think it's turned against her, but it seems like it, but I don't really know. Because look, sure. look. She hasn't had features since. She hasn't, ever since she made that Why Be Better comment, she hasn't had a really good feature since. I think it's because her name is just wrapped up in so much bullshit at this point. You know, and all. With all the legal trouble of getting shot, the, with, the be better, with the Be Better statement, her name carries too much now. It's drama behind it. Because you got to think, the baby was hot. And look what happened to him. I don't want to touch out a thousand foot pole. I make a song with you or something, and now I'm in the middle of bullshit. But then Tory Lane's out here thriving. He had a song with a lot of artists since. Uh, I, I, I'm one reason I'm gonna say it's arguable that he's thriving is because his streams did go down. Yeah, that I was uh, that down. was that was always going to happen. Like yes, sir, so his but streams did go down. So it was right. just he's been thriving since. And, like, I'm talking about as far as artists. And it seems like the YB and Dirt thing is kind of affecting Meg because okay. ever since she said YB better, everybody who's done a song with Dirk since do not do a song with Meg right now. That's all That's all the argument I'm proposing. Well, yeah, like, I, you just don't want to be in the middle of that. Oh. Unfortunately, you're picking sides between them, but you just don't want to be in the middle of it. And... The industry is definitely picking sides, and honestly, I don't think they're picking the wrong side. That's a, that's a really hot take because YB got the numbers right. Yeah, but it looks like YB might be going to jail. 
So those numbers are going to dwindle by a lot. And Dirk isn't going to jail. So he's going to thrive a lot more than YB. Quando number's not there. We could go King Von past his death, and his numbers are going to be set. So, I don't know. I'm just asking. Uh, uh, it, really just, it really just depends. Because now if YB goes to jail, unless he's pulling the Gucci man, then yeah, he's falling off. That's I think YB's a, I really think that's one reason why he kept going with that King Von bullshit when he got out. Because think about it. People will love YB, but that shit was eventually going to go downhill because he was going to jail. But do you think that's why he's name dropped? Like in his recent songs, he just don't he's, na- I yeah. do he's name dropping everybody. He just well, don't give a fuck. Well, that could be a part of it, but at the same time, too, he is human. You get tired of everybody talking down on you. You do. So, but but is it I'm going to jail anyway? You know I might as well just but what everybody tell doing? everybody what's up. He called everybody out that has ever said. Well, the only person, <laughs> the only person that had nothing to do, like has ever never said anything bad about him by far was Lil Baby. That's the only person I can know. Look, but Lil Baby just did a whole tape with Dirt. So in YB mind, it's either you, it's, it's either me or him. And to me, you're on his side because y'all just did a whole tape. So you're not fucking with me he did, he like you're doing with him. So, yeah, we, we, <laughs> we just watched the whole Florida. So yeah. now we, I know what side you're on. So, yeah, it's fuck you. That's why he said, oh, Gucci Man too. I, I used to fuck with Gucci. Yeah. But after Gucci just came out with a song with Dirk, Dirk. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like everybody on Dirk. The industry is on Dirk's side. But he got to I mean, realize... Who are you gonna go with? The person that's doing nothing, but that ain't about to go to jail, or somebody that's doing not that great? Because he's real for real for the kids. I'm being honest. I agree. So we, Honestly, I wouldn't even put it like that. Dirk was looked at the looked as a goddamn rap prodigal child at one point. You can't say he wasn't. He was. He was the rap prodigal child. I mean, people still see him in that light. Yeah. So this is why. Dirk's second second career. Yeah. This isn't his first. So like, that's what I, I give him that. So y'all are definitely. Well, right yeah, I guess I got a point. But whoever is managing Dirk right now, he's doing great. Yo, give that nigga a hand clap. Because before, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck Dirk was doing, but doing that country song, bro, that's good. That's gonna take him where he want to be. Yeah, I think. Well, I guess Zay has a point, just because you know he was hot when he was younger. So it's like then he got older, and it's just like Dirk been around this rodeo before. Bobby, you really have it. And so it's like, I'm going a, I'm to a fuck with somebody that know it. Because cause we could put the whole, like, the drill music stuff and put him, like, with Chief Keith and, like, G Herbo and Bibi and all of them. And it's just like, he been around this road before. He just older. Mm. So who you going to fuck with? The nigga got the knowledge, the nigga that don't got the knowledge. Look, y'all tell us. If, if y'all was in the industry, would y'all rather fuck with YB or Dirt? Or neither? Because it is a choice. But it's no, it's no in between. You can't just play sides. Um, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm going to see the server. I'm swimming. I'm Zay Black. And, and 